guys, it's your girl, Hey Paris here, and um, I promised you guys two story times, okay? If you follow me on Twitter, that's where all the action happens, okay? That's where everything goes down. That's where you get all the updates. That's when you could talk to me and I reply to you with the utmost quickness, okay? And I told you guys if I get 200 likes on that tweet, I'll do two story times for you guys. So you guys are getting two back-to-back -back story times today okay so 10 minutes after this is posted another story time will be posted right after this one so if you're not following me on twitter you should go and follow me right now it's at hey paris i do money giveaways i talk to you guys all the time i do um secret announcements on there so if you're not following me on twitter right now is the time to follow me it's at hey paris with two s's okay now the first story time that we're talking about today is one that i tweeted about and a lot of you guys are like, please make a video about it. We want to know more. We want more details, blah, 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 blah. It is about my racist neighbors. I have to say neighbors because I don't know where this bitch lives. I don't know where she resides. I don't even know she lives in my building. But we're going to call her neighbor because she was in my building and acting like a rude racist bitch okay i hold them back nothing and please excuse my parents it is 3 a.m here in toronto and i'm recording these two videos for you guys because i promised you guys and i'm not breaking the promise okay so if you guys have been rocking with me for a while now you guys know that i moved into my own condo with my boyfriend cameron you know a very exciting time it's supposed to be happy and like oh my gosh i can't wait to decorate oh my gosh i can't wait to whatever oh my gosh i can't wait to whatever oh my gosh i can't wait to move i cannot way to move from this shitty ass condo let me tell you why this is not the first time this is not the second time this is not the third time but this is the fourth time some racist shit done happened in this damn condo i'm gonna tell you the three stories that happened before and then tell you the most recent one that i was tweeting about on twitter okay so <laughs> These motherfuckers. I didn't make any sense when I when I just when I just spoke, just so you know. Um anyways, so at our condo there is a sign that says we do not allow strangers in, which means don't open the door for people who you don't know, okay? understandable we don't want strangers up in here we don't want people um breaking in we don't want unfamiliar faces roaming and um loitering around the lobby or whatever understandable okay but these people take it too far and yo oh my god let me just get my composure back before i even continue the story because these they mm. <clears throat> so the first time some dumb shit happened in this stupid condo was when we first, first, first moved in, okay? Me and Cameron, we got our key, we got our fob, which means we could open up the door downstairs. We don't need nobody to open the door, we don't need to buzz nobody, we could just open the door by ourselves because we live here, right? Okay, cool. Um, so we're walking in together with this lady, okay? This white lady. I'm gonna have to say they're racist just so you get a visual so you understand why this is all racist, okay? So we're all in the lobby, not in the lobby, like the, the entrance way before you get into the lobby where you can buzz people or you can open up the door. So we're there, whatever. She buzzes someone, and as she's buzzing, we decide we have a key, we ain't gonna wait for this person to answer, let's just open the door and let's go in. So we open the door, <laughs> oh my God, this bitch, oh my gosh. I can't believe, like, I need to get out of this area so bad. So we open the door, Cameron holds open the door for the lady, okay? <laughs> he opens the door open for the, he holds the door open for the lady. The lady walks in and basically tries to pull, close, oh my, oh my, I can't believe people are like this. Like, just talking about it boils my blood. I can't even deal right now. Okay, anyways. She walks in, she holds the door, and she literally pulls the door closed. Do you guys understand how heavy a lobby door is? It takes like five seconds for it to close. You know the heaviness of it? It takes that long to close. So she's pulling it like with all her might trying to close the door behind her so that me and Cameron can't get in. Bitch, we let you in. We're the ones who got the key and let you in. What are you doing? You're the one who's buzzing. You're the one who doesn't live here. You're the one who's buzzing to let someone, to, to, to ask someone to let you in. We opened the door for you and Cameron Cameron was nice enough to open, hold the door open so that you could walk through. And what did you do? Try to close the door on us? Are you dumb? Like, what was the purpose of that? That's my question. What was your purpose? So, you know, I'm kind of like the um, aggressor, I guess, in me and Cameron's relationship. Cameron's more of the person who's like, 
it's okay like calm down don't get mad just breathe while I'm like no I'm ready to fight this old bitch I don't care how old you are you can be 65 92 I don't care I'm ready to punch her ass out what are you doing but you know Cameron's calming me down he's like yo just chill just chill breathe like it's okay leave it alone so I'm like you know what I'm a chill, I'm a chill shawty until I get to Eli train station and how dare you jump up in my face anyway and talk to me about cussing out no old lady. For real though. I'm about to chill. Thank you, that's the best advice that I can take, shawty. <laughs> Just chill. Till I get to Eli train station and how dare you jump up in my face anyway and say a goddamn thing to me about cussing out no old lady. Anyways, she tried to close the door Cameron opened the door and dragged it like this, like, bitch, what are you doing? And she just, she just looking around trying to avoid eye contact with us while I'm looking at her like, just staring her right in her face. We go in the elevator and she purposely misses that elevator so she doesn't have to be in an awkward situation with us. I wanted to cuss her out, y'all, y'all don't understand. I want to cuss her out because, bitch, we are the ones who let you in the building. We are the ones who allowed you to get inside. We are the ones who use our keys to get you inside the building and you're trying to close the door behind us. Are you okay? Are you good? Anyways, next story because... <laughs> Listen, I ain't trying to be mad this entire, mm, you know, I can't even control it. If I'm mad throughout this whole video, I apologize, but this, this shit is, it bothers me so much, okay? The next story. See, now this story has to do with the security guard in this stupid ass place, okay? The friggin' security guard, he was like brand new, okay? And I know he's brand new because we knew every other security guard in this bitch, okay? This new ass security guard is downstairs or whatever, and Cameron invited two of his friends who are black men, um, to come upstairs in our, our condo. So they buzzed us and we let them in. We pressed nine or six, whatever, to let them inside, okay? So from someone is downstairs in the lobby and they buzz someone and someone answers their phone and lets them in, that lets you know that those people who are in the condo, who are in the building, know someone from the building and they are visitors, friends or family members of the people that they are buzzing, okay? All right? Got it? Get it. Okay, so this security guard goes up to Cameron's friends and says, where are you guys going? What are you guys doing? Why are you asking them that? For what reason? Would, would you be asking anyone else that? If this were two elderly people, would you be asking them where are they going? It all has to do with race age and how they look is why he approached them i don't respect that shit i do not respect that shit and that's not even the first that's not even the, the end of the story okay so you know they complied they're like oh we're going we're going to the whatever floor we're going to see our friend the security guard's like oh okay stands around them they go in the elevator the security guard goes in the elevator with them the security guard walked them all the way to our apartment door you're gonna tell me that that's that's what your your company trained you to do to follow everybody who enters the building to their friends' apartment doors? Is that what you're trained to do? I'm sure if it was two elderly people, you would not follow them upstairs, would you? I'm sure if it was two young women, you wouldn't follow them upstairs, would you? Nobody can tell me different. That's straight up prejudice, okay? Straight up prejudice. And he's out of luck that day because that day I was turned up. I was off. On the liquors okay we were having a get-together or whatever I was drinking I was drunk they told me what had happened you know what I put on my little shorts I went downstairs I was ready to fight this man that's how drunk I was I was ready to fight this grown security ass guard who couldn't do shit you know those security guards that you look at them and you're like if a gunman came in right now who are you saving who are you saving because you are you can't do shit you don't look like you could do shit to nobody for no reason. Like, you're just sitting there watching people. You can't do shit. If a man wanted to come up to you right now and fight you, you can't do shit. There's nothing you could do. So don't try to act all tough and act all superior and act all authoritative if you're not about that life. Because if these, these guys decided, you know what, we're not with the games tonight and we're, we're really trying to fight you, what are you going to do? You're going to call the cops. You're a security guard for no reason. Go home. So I put on my shorts and went downstairs. I cussed him stink. Cussed him stink. I was like, did you really follow my friends upstairs? He was like, yes. I'm like, tell me the reason why you followed them upstairs. Why are you following them upstairs? He goes and he says, it's my job to follow everyone upstairs. So as soon as he said that, two teenage white boys walk in the building. So I said, oh, are you going to follow them upstairs too? 
Are you, are you gonna are you gonna follow them upstairs because you're still sitting down here? If this is protocol and this is part of your job, why are you not following them upstairs? But you want to follow my friends upstairs? Why? He said I don't need to follow them upstairs. I only follow the people that I want to upstairs. I choose who I, who I want to follow upstairs. So right there, you are being prejudiced. There's nothing else to talk about. I asked him for his name. I looked at the company that he worked for. And um, I was drunk, so I didn't call them the next day, but I should have, honest to God. But the following day, the superintendent of this um, condo came up to me talking about, we saw someone um, on the camera yelling at the security guard. Why are you yelling at the security guard? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm explaining to him, you need to realize that he literally followed my friends because they're young black men. There's no other reason why he followed them. The superintendent's like, this building is multicultural and there is no racism, blah, blah, blah. You, as a white man, cannot tell me what is racist and what is not racist. Shut up. Even after explaining to this man what had happened, he was still siding with the security guard. I'm like, so you're telling me it was right for the security guard to follow my friends all the way up to my door, up to my door, not up to the floor, but up to my door and watch them go inside my house. You're telling me that is right? He's like, well, if he felt like he needed to follow them, there must have been a reason why. Yeah, the reason is because they're black. Bye. See you never. I'm not trying to talk to you. Bye. If you're not trying to hear the message, I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Good goodbye. And then he was talking about how someone's house got broken into recently and blah 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 whose fault is that wouldn't that be the security guards fault it's, it's not my two black friends fault i know that for sure so <laughs> what <laughs> the next the next story yo i this is i need to leave this place like i'm just thinking about all the shit that happened I need to go. I need to leave. And it's not just these stories that I'm telling you guys right now. It's the looks that I get. It's the way that people will treat you. It's everything. And I need to leave. I need to go. Anyways, we gonna, we gonna up and leave soon. I promise you guys. I'm not putting myself through this shit no more. Anyways, the next story, okay? This is the most recent story that happened, but this is not the story that everyone was talking about. So I tweeted. Let me tell you exactly what I tweeted. I tweeted, I'm holding a effing camera, three bags, and an effing backdrop stand, and some effing ugly F literally closed the lobby door in my face. That is the most recent um, shit that happened to me in the condo. The one that was controversial and a lot of you guys were retweeting and talking about is the one that I'm going to talk about next, okay? So this is what happened. I was holding my, I wanted to bring all of my filming equipment to the condo for my mom's house. So I had two of my light stands, a backdrop, a bag with all my backdrops in it, my camera, my camera stand, and the struggle was real. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm holding them all like just just looking a mess shit is about to drop i'm just holding everything trying to hold on to dear life while my keys in my hand so that i can open up the door so this man is in front of me he looks at me <laughs> eye contact he looks like directly in my eyes so i'm like oh nice he's gonna hold the door open for me not the lobby door where you need the key you know just the front door where you go into the, the mini section and then you go into the lobby so i'm like oh he's looking at me which means he knows that i need help obviously because i'm over here trembling walking around like this he looks at me goes inside and lets the door close. So I'm like, oh, okay, an asshole, that's fine. Who's your mother? I don't know because I don't know. I have a brother and my mom raised my brother to um, respect women and to basically, if a woman is in need or looks like she needs help, to help them. If my brother sees a woman holding a lot of bags and it looks like she's struggling, my brother will go to the woman and help her bring her bags in, okay? All the way to her apartment if she feels comfortable or help her bring it into the elevator, whatever the case may be. This man looked me in my eyes and, and just kept walking. I was like, cool. Your mom sucks. So now we're in the buzzy part where you can buzz someone or open the door. He opens the door with his key. Remember, I'm holding my shit, so the struggle is real for me to open any door. He opens his door with his key and literally slides inside the, the door like this. So he opens it. He cracks the door literally like this much and slides his skinny ass through the, the little crack of the door so that the door can slam shut in, in front of my face. I'm like, this isn't real. I'm like, this... I'm like, I can't... What? I couldn't believe that that happened. I couldn't believe... Yo, I couldn't believe that this man... A man! A man! A man! Balls and dick! Allowed this door to close on a young lady holding a bunch of shit. And listen, I... This is, this is not about me. This is about any female who might have been 
in need of help and this is it's not like I needed help like I needed aid like I'm, I'm I'm dying or nothing like that I just simply needed you to hold the door open so that I didn't have to struggle to open the door myself as a man that's your duty I'm just saying if you don't agree with me that's your that's your own decision that's your own that's your own prerogative but the way my mama raised my my brother I know how a lady should be treated doesn't matter if you know them or you don't Anyway, so the door closes on my face, so I'm literally like, okay, dropped all my shit. I didn't care if a light broke, I didn't care if a camera broke, I didn't care what the hell broke. I dropped all my shit, took my key, opened the door, he turns around, looks at me, looks shocked as hell, as if I'm not supposed to be living in this condo. I pick my shit up and I wait for the elevator with him. It's just me and him, you know, just me and him in the lobby. And I didn't want to say anything, so I just started laughing. I was just like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. That's exactly what I said. We get in the elevator, he's staring straight at his shoes. He's, a, he's not looking up, he don't wanna look at me, but I'm staring right at his big ass head. I'm just staring straight at his head. I'm like, I wish you would look up. I wish you would look up so you could see the look on my face. I wish. Now I came off before him. So when I'm coming out the elevator, I'm like, your mom did a shit job at raising you. I'm gonna give myself an applause. I'm happy I said that. I said it as the elevator door was closing, but I stood there because I wanted to see the look on his face, and he did one of these. As long as you know. As long as you know your mother did a shit job at raising you, I'm fine. Praise God, hallelujah. And the last story, this is the one that you guys told me you wanted to hear on Twitter, is about <laughs> a lady who literally, okay, this is blatant racism. You can say the other two or the other three were maybe racism, know I think they're all racism I think they're all prejudice I feel like if I was someone else that that wouldn't have happened to me in all three occasions and if my friends weren't didn't look the way they look the security guard wouldn't follow them upstairs but this one is straight up racist I don't care what anyone has to say okay so me and my mother me and my mom were coming upstairs okay so we're walking in the lobby whatever we see three there's three white people I have to say their color it doesn't matter no color doesn't matter but there's three white people um, standing inside the part where you bus people and there's a lady who just hopped out of her car and she's walking in and then we're behind her so we can see three people already in the lobby area the buzzing area and the lady goes in and we're right after her so the lady looks at us and kind of like speed walks into the the lobby area the buzzing area me and my mom are just walking normally fine because we have a key we don't need we're not we're not looking for anyone to open the door for us so when she walks in we come in maybe like three seconds after her and all I see is her opening the door like this for the three people to, three white people to come in and you can hear her saying come hurry up hurry up hurry up like that and she did the same thing like the other person grabbed onto the door and tried to close the freaking door the heavy ass door closed when it takes forever to close by itself she's dragging it locks the door my key was in my bag so i was taking a little while to find it while they're still waiting at the elevator so the three people who went in they're facing the elevator they're not looking back at us but the lady is literally turned her whole back and is just staring straight at us just straight at us while i'm looking for my key in my bag my mom's not looking at her my mom's not talking to her i'm looking in my bag i'm searching for my key this lady for no reason out of nowhere looks at us and goes sorry i can't open the door for people who don't live here first of all bitch first of all bitch nobody asked you to open no friggin door nobody asked you to open the door not a single soul asked you to open the door second of all i live here so who are you talking to what are you talking about why are you going out of your way to tell people i can't open the door for you you stupid dumb bitch so i find my key i open the door i hold it open get my mom inside and if my mother was not there i would i would have caught a case i would have went to jail i would have backhanded that lady so hard her dentures would have felt all like all all of her teeth from her dentures would be everywhere on the damn floor all of them all of them no questions asked so when i get inside i'm like what are you talking about i live here she goes oh i don't see a lot of people like you around in this building what what does that mean what are you trying to say 
I'd love to know what you're trying to say because that has literally no other meaning. So what are you trying to say? So I was like, excuse me? She's like, nothing dear, nothing dear. Don't worry about it. I love your shirt. I'm gonna love my shirt even more with your blood all over it. What are you talking about? I'm gonna love it. Give a nice design, a nice little tie-dye design for real. So my mom's looking at me and she could tell I'm getting mad. She could tell I'm like, I'm very frustrated. And she just, my mom said out loud, let ignorant people be ignorant, Paris. Just let ignorant people be ignorant. And I was like, you know what, mom? You right. You know when you're so angry, you feel like crying? Like, that's the type of anger that was inside of me. I was like, I can't believe this woman just said that to me. I can't, like, I, I was so shocked. It's 2017, 2017. What is going on? Anyways, guys, those are the stories about this stupid ass condo and why I want to leave. Leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this has happened to you before. I know that a lot of people on Twitter are sharing their stories with me. Make sure you share them in the comment section down below so other people can see your experiences as well. Make sure to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All that jazz in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Oh, another story time coming up right after this one. Get your snacks ready because it's a good one.